Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So we've come quite a long way. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the end of, you know, this, this little journey, this little, little, um, little step, I think, in the game. Uh, what I've been trying to do is I've been trying to make a stable Dragon's B10 team for quite a long time. I, I've tried, like, you know, the New King strategy, I tried CCing them, I tried all types of stuff. Um, but I, I wanted to actually do something, um, you know, not maybe not a lot of people have have done yet, and uh, it's purely I think right now for me at least is purely theoretical. Like I don't know for sure if this is gonna work, um, but I'm hoping that it does, and it's actually gonna take quite a lot of resources and a lot of investment. I've already invested quite a lot into it, so um, I have few, uh, quite a few things that I need to get ready today before uh, the Dragon B10 dungeon comes out tomorrow. And I also have a few eggs to summon, and the, I'm actually hoping for some um, specific monsters. Mainly the, the fusion ones, the ones that I need to complete my um, Victoria Evil 3 fusion. So I was fusing a few Victorias yesterday, and I actually did get manage to get a variant. Um, you know, she just came out randomly. I fed two... I, the funny thing is I fed two variants into it, and then it came out as a variant. So... I don't think there's, I, th I think it might have just been a coincidence, because, uh, you know, that doesn't always happen. But I'm still, like, regardless, I'm still really, really happy that I was managed, I managed to get a variant. So I'm going to be feeding her into my Dark Victoria, um, and although I don't really need the variant skill, it doesn't, it doesn't matter for my team, I'm still going to feed it into her. And what I'm going to do is, um, you know, once she's evil 3, I, I'm still short two more Victorias, which, um, Shouldn't be that hard to, to get today. So I actually already um, already fused two Wood Sirens and two Water Cocos. Those are the things I need. I have an extra Coco. Um, I think I have two extra Cocos. So I need like four more Cocos. Um, and I have like one extra Siren. So I need like five more Sirens. Oh no, I have a... I actually have two more Sirens here. But I, I don't want to feed the Wood one away. Because, you know, maybe if I don't catch... A water one but which I probably will um, then I can feed this away so at the very very um, least I will need three more sirens and uh, four more cocos to to complete my fusion so I can actually do a summon a few summons right now and if I do get some sirens and cocos it'll be really really nice it would be even nicer if I was able to just you know straight out summon another Victoria or something like that um, so yeah, let's actually let's get started with the summoning first, and then I'll I'll uh, I'll see what I can do with them. So I've been also trying to get the light sea star. Um, I think she might actually be the better unit, like than the dark Victoria for Dragon's B10. But um, I'm basically right now I'm planning to use the dark Victoria since I'm very very close to um, getting her to evil three, and her gems are already maxed out basically. So. I don't really need to invest anything else into it, so I was just thinking, um, you know, maybe I can, I can use her as a filler, and if it works, then I don't even need the light sea star. Come on, I need a Coco or a Siren. Okay, it's a Mona. Oh, I'm also very, very close to getting my um, Medusa to Evil Three. I'm only short a few more Medusas. It's kind of funny, like when you want something specific, it won't give it to you. The bets are still nice because I still need to fuse a lot more Victorias for my um, for for my light Victoria in the future. All right. Oh man, it's a water one. I can't feed that that one away. It should be fine, like I should be able to catch enough Cocos, it's definitely not hard to do. Alright, I didn't really get anything I need, but that's completely fine, because, um, you know, these I can still use in the future, once I'm, once I'm working on my, my Light Victoria. I think I can do two Rebirths today. Okay, I got a Monkey. Fire one, as expected. All 
Alright, no lightning. But that's also completely fine. Alright, so the next thing is, um, <coughs> is, is gems. I need to, uh, the, the plan, the team that I'm actually planning to use is, I'm planning to use the Fire Succubus for her leader skill. Um, her first skill is not going to provide too much for my team, but her second skill, like, defense down is definitely going to be really, really good, um, for, for damaging the boss and stuff. And she does have a 32% HP lead, so that's what I'm basically using her for. Um, and yeah, I'll need to max out her gems. I don't know if I can get better gems than these. I think I probably can if I really wanted to. Uh, so right now she's on intuition, crit rate, uh, attack, HP, yes. And then this HP is pretty good because it has crit rate, attack, and 20% defense. So this is a really, really tanky HP gem. Definitely not switching that one out. The one I can replace is definitely this attack gem. If I can get an attack gem that has more crit rate, um, or more HP or more defense, I can definitely use that. So this one has crit rate, crit damage. This one doesn't really have any uh, useful substats. Oh, it does have the resist, which is really nice. But not, um, I don't really need resist against Dragon's B10. So I'm going to try to upgrade this gem. And if it's better than this one, I'll just replace it. Which it probably will be. This is dangerous. There's a 50-50 chance of this gem going to shit. Hmm, 15%. That, that is a, it's a high roll as well. 7.5 plus 7.5. It's the highest possible roll, with two, two. Um, with it going into crit rate twice. I right, went to flat HP, which isn't too bad. Still better than the recovery percent. We're going to see if the plus 9 and plus 12 can go into crit rate and crit damage. So she's also going to serve as my main damage dealer because I did, you know, gem her up with crit rate. Um, if I want her to reliably self sustain, I would actually put her on. Oh, nice. Three rolls of crit. Now that one was a 6% roll, which is a low roll, but it's still really nice that it went into crit. So this is an intuition attack gem with 21% crit rate. Like it's already, it's already really good. No matter what the 12 roll rolls into, this is already a really good gem. I think for the purpose of this gem, I, it would be better if it goes into crit rate one more time. Ooh, it's intuition 27% crit rate gem. Ooh. Ooh, that is sick. That is really sick. Alright, you deserve it. And that gives pushes her crit rate over a hundred percent. Um Now I'll I'll do it in my own free time. Like I'll just upgrade because they're already plus twelve, it can't really spawn any more substats anyways. So I'll just get them to plus 15 today um, during my own free time. And hopefully I have enough gold to upgrade because I have quite a lot of gems I need to get to plus 15. So um, and to do that before tomorrow. And uh, so the first unit that I'm going to be using is my succubus, of course. I don't know if she's tanky enough. There is a chance that she isn't. If not, then what I could do is actually sacrifice crit rate. And put another defense or HP gem on the slot, like the, a defense gem. But hopefully, the one that has attack or or a uh, crit rate as well. Might be a little bit hard to pull off. I think my. Vic no shit! Wait, no, I stole it from my Victoria. Hmm, this one doesn't have any good subs, but you know, at least it's usable. Um, all right, so. This is the way that she's going to be gemmed, um, the way I'm planning to gem her. I'm not sure if she's going to be tanky enough, but she is mono element against the, or neutral element, not mono, no, mono means like all the same element, neutral element against the, the dragon. Um, and she has self-sustain, she has this HP siphon, so her crit rate basically makes it so she has reliable self-sustain. But the problem is, I'm not sure if she's going to be tanky enough. If she's, if I need her to be tankier and not rely on this um, 
this crit rate self-sustain. Like maybe her bar is gonna fill up too high with her second skill and she's gonna be spamming it more and won't be able to self-sustain herself with her first skill. Then I might need to switch this gem into a defense gem. So I'm gonna be doing some testing tomorrow. Um, if she somehow manages to die or anything like that. Then I need to switch out that gem. And, and yeah, that should be pretty good. Now, moving on, uh, my second unit that I'm going to be using for um, for Dragon's B10 is my Dark Cupid. Um, he is a very, very powerful shield-based healer. The best in the game. Um, she has He has higher base HP than the Light Venus. He has just basically the highest base HP of all the shield um, with HP scaling you know, healers in the game. He's basically the best active healer in the game. He has aggression on first skill, which also scales with HP. So he not only is tanky, um, provides a really thick shield, can have sustain, he also does a lot of damage as well. So more HP equals more damage. I have him on, on a gem of life set. Um, it happened to have some pretty good resist. And most of these gems do have come with another flat um, HP sub. So his, his base HP is definitely pretty high. Um, he also has some nice defense subs to boost his defense up a little bit, just so he doesn't take that much damage. And yeah, I'm just going to be maxing him out. Like once I max him out, it should be pretty stable. Um, he should be able to sustain very, very well um, and do a lot of damage because he has you know high HP. Now, I don't think there's too much to say about him. He's just really, really good. He's going to be my main... Um, support slash healer in for for the for the run third unit i'm using is obviously my dark victoria as i mentioned before um she is currently on an intuition set i put her on defense i think it was yeah attack defense hp she is a balance type her stats aren't maxed out right now but if you um, get her to evil three you can see her stats at evil three Her stats are ev at Evil 3 are relatively balanced, with um, her defense and HP slightly higher than her base attack. Although she still has like 2100, which is actually um, not too bad for balance units. Well, actually some balance units do have pretty high attack, but I would treat her more like a tank type unit. Um, I basically decided to gem her with one slot attack, um, just, just because like I already have her on an intuition set. So I can push, already push 50% crit rate without the crit rate gem. And it'll take advantage of her, um, you know, her base 100% crit rate that way. And having a little bit of attack means that, you know, if, if, if it does crit, like 50% of the time it'll crit, right? So um, it'll just provide more higher consistent damage. I don't know if my math is exactly right. Um, it could be that... You know, if I had a hundred percent crit rate, it might do more damage. But I think, like, for optimization and like just thinking from, um, I don't know how to explain this. Like thinking from the perspective of optimization, where you like try to balance out each thing um, to to get the highest like you know overall result. It might actually be better for to use the HP. I actually do need to do a lot of testing and a lot of math. Um, in order to find this out so this is actually something that's gonna take a little bit of time but I don't think the the difference should be too large um, between using the two gems it's just maybe one will give slightly better results I don't need her to reliably crit I don't need any of these units to reliably crit maybe except for the fire succubus who um, who relies on crit to sustain but I I think um, you know as long as you know 50% like just over uh, over a long period of time or through a lot, lot of attacks, as long as I'm able to provide constant damage um, against the dragon, then then that's that's good enough. Like I don't need I don't need all of them to be critting like always 100% of the time. Um, it's definitely not that type of team, not that type of dungeon. Um, so yeah, I think I think this is pretty good. So this is a defense gem. Um, doesn't really have anything. I could possibly replace this with something better. I do have another defense gem here. 
Now this one is already plus 9, but it, it most of the rolls went to the flat HP. This one has HP and attack like 5%, 6%, so I decided to keep this one. Um, this could actually possibly, possibly be slightly better if I can get the last plus 12 roll to go into HP. Like this, this gem could be um, better than this one. Because I'd be... Actually, no. Because recovery is useless. Um, actually, attack recovery is both useless. This at least has 6% attack. Alright, this gym actually is still better. Like, no matter what this one rolls into, the, this one is still probably better. Um, and this one's really nice. This one has HP, attack, crit rate, crit damage, everything she needs to do a bit of damage. So she's going to be... Basically, everyone on my team needs to be able to do a little bit of damage for them to... Um, for me to have justify this much sustain on my team. So the fourth unit I'm going to be using is my Dark Cura. Um, I have enough Gleams and Curas to get her to Evo 3. So I'm probably going to be doing that. I'm going to be throwing a lot of Gleams into her in order to get her to Evo 3. She's currently Evo 2 right now. I have quite a lot of other Curas that I can use on her. Um, I also have a Varian Cura as well, so that's, that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I'll probably throw that Varian Cura into her as well. So the reason I'm using her is because, um, actually I forgot to go over the Victoria skills. If you guys don't know, she has 100% stun and 60% defense down. Her 100% stun is mainly used to stun the first wave with the Persephone and the, um, the, just any of the units like on the first second wave. She can't, like I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't try to stun the Persephone because there's not a 100% chance it would land. But I would try to stun one of the side units so I don't take that much damage. And then I would try to burst down one of the side units, and then, um, and then I would, you know, try to stun the Persephone while I kill the other side unit or something like that. So she's going to be able to help early on in the stage um, very, very well. And her second skill, defense down, will help me do a lot more damage against the dragon. So I just basically need her and the succubus to be spamming their second skills in order to, um, you know, just defense down the boss, so I can do constant damage against him. Now, I decided to go with another healer because I, I do think I need um, a little bit of sustain in order to keep my team, like, some some actual sustain um, to keep my team alive. Well, actually, no, I don't I don't need, like, um, a lot of sustain, but I, I do need a second healer to reliably make sure that I, um, I always have some sort of heal up so I can keep my team alive always. And the reason why I chose the Dark Cura is to, because my team, when, when I get to the dragon, is going to be mostly reliant on their second skills so ideally i want my whole entire team to be spamming their second skills non-stop instead of their first skills and um the cura is able to achieve that if she can keep this buff on my team at all times there is one little thing i'm worried about it's that the side um you know the little side units beside the dragons the, the little little like floaty things that armor break you um those things i'm actually afraid of them dying because if they do die then I won't be able to generate a lot of SP because, you know, through through AoE, because they don't do that many hits. Um, but there's also something good about that. It's if I actually do kill them, they won't be, they'll do, they'll basically make it so, um, they, they'll do less damage. Like, it won't be the side units and the dragon hitting me, it'll just be the dragon hitting me. And then they also won't be able to armor break because they'll they'll be dead. But I don't think they're they're they would be able to land armor break with my Cupid's shield up like 24/7. Um, anyways, so I think it might be a really good idea to actually just you know kill them through the AOE as well. Um, now she's really really nice with her morale boost and SP siphon. So if you're familiar with the fire cura, um, the dark cura has a skill that is almost the same as the fire cura. But the, the better thing about her is she doesn't require any sort of crit. So you don't need to have any crit on her in order to make her morale boost work. And she has SP Siphon. I think only two monsters in the game have this. The Dark Cura and the Fire Hana. Um, I don't know too much about the Fire Hana, but I do know that, like, her first... I do remember that her first skill is not very, very good. Yeah, it's sleep, which is not really all that useful. Um, and only... It's only 40% chance and only lasts for one turn. Um, it's like the weakest type of CC as well. And yeah, she has SP Siphon as well on her second skill. So I was thinking of, um, not a lot of people actually use the SP Siphoning skill, um, but I have done some testing with this and it's, it's very, very possible to 
keep your bar up always if they have like more than three units alive um, and you're constantly nuking them with your second skill. So she her job is to make sure my Cupid always has his shield up. Um, like with her, I can literally keep the shield up like every single turn. Like he'll, his bar will be full every single turn um, as long as the other side units don't die. So it's going to take a little bit of testing. I don't know if it's going to work all that well exactly. Um, I think before I actually do gleam her, I will need to, I will need to um, do a lot of testing first before I, I go really hard and invest into it. But for today, I'm just going to make sure my Victoria can uh, reach Evil 3. Um, a little bit about my Dark Heroes gem. I have her on Gem of Life. It's actually attack, defense, HP. The main reason for that is she is uh, like the only balance type healer in the game. Um, her base attack is actually relatively high for a healer. Actually, it's the highest for any um, any active healer in the game, her base attack. So if you look at her right now, she actually has 2,500 base attack. Um, and this is, on a, this is on a healer as well. So her HP and defense are relatively balanced. Um, she has a decent amount of recovery. And, um, you know, with her spamming that skill every single turn and my Cupid spamming his shield every single turn, I really don't need recovery on these two units. But the attack can be really, really helpful um, for when the other two side units die. I need to have enough damage to burst down the dragon before his blessing actually becomes a problem. So it's basically this team is like just a standard dungeon team. Like it's just a really, um, a lot of high stat, high high utility, um, you know, high tankiness units, just like high attack, high HP, high defense, um, lots of utility, and, and, uh, yeah, just combine all those things together to make, like, a standard dungeon team that, like, literally just tanks and DPSs through stuff, um, without any sort of gimmick. So, that's my plan right now, like, I'm just going, I'm just, uh, <laughs> gonna go straight into dragons with something like this, and I'm gonna see if it works. And if it works, then then you guys can do something similar as well. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be the guinea pig, all right? I'm gonna be the guinea pig, um, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Like it's it's been so much fun trying to trying to do this. Um, and I'm very very close. I'm I'm so close to being able to do this. I originally thought that the light sea star would be better than the dark Victoria because I already have an armor break. So I think attack down at might actually be more useful. Um, she basically would have the same skill, she would have the, the same stun, but she would have 100% attack down on her second skill. She would do a lot less damage because she's light, but I could gem her with like, you know, one slot crit rate, one slot HP, and then I might even be able to afford like one slot um, attack or something like that. And then like put her on a protection set for that little extra bit of 20% defense. And she, yeah, she'll be able to do pretty well, I think. Um, that's what I, I was thinking before. But I'm going to try it without any sort of attack down. And if that doesn't work, then hopefully I can get her before the the rebirth ends. And uh, yeah, I think I think that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be farming for the materials for my Victoria. Um, I'm very, very close now. Even if I don't, even if I have to use the water and wood sirens, I only really need, or the Kokomons, um, I only really need four more Kokos, like at the very, very most, or at the very, very least, I need four more Kokos and uh, three more Sirens. So once I get those, I'll have an Evil 3 Victoria, and I have enough Gleams and uh, random Curas to get my Cura to Evil 3, so I'm going to do, be doing that as well. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much it. So. Yeah, that's that's it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I fortunately it's not the Dragon Dungeon day yet. There's one more day to the Dragon Dungeon, and once it does come out, I'll be able to to show it to you guys. Um, and if it works out well, then I'll be, finally be able to make my uh, guide like actual, real, actual guide to, to the Dragon Dungeons. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm really, really excited. I'll see you guys in the next video. The next video is going to be big, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.